Hello everyone. Welcome to our course Azure Kubernetes Services or AKS Deep Dive, which covers in depth a deep dive for AKS and Kubernetes. This video is part of this course and will cover lesson one in module one, which is introduction and course overview. This video is part of module one, introduction to application modernization and containers. And this is where the video is located in the current module. So let's start. Module one, lesson one, introduction and course overview. So this lesson will cover first a quick introduction about me and then the course structure. So we will understand how this course is structured. After that, we will understand what is the module of this course and then what is the outline and overview about each module. So we will see what is the lesson and the demos that we expect to see in each module. And then we will understand how this course is structured and organized in order to understand how to navigate between different lessons and demos inside the module. And at the end, we will understand the references from where I used to prepare this course and also some extra resources for more information. Before we start, let me give you a quick introduction about myself. My name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a developer technologies MVP and principal DevOps consultant. I have been doing software development for more than 17 years now, working on several projects for different enterprise customers across different regions and countries. I heavily participated in the community, developed several frameworks, presented many sessions, holding various certificates for Azure and DevOps. I started back in 2002 as a classic ASB developer, relocated multiple times in multiple countries, worked with several technologies and for different role and positions. And for the last eight years, I moved to consultancy-based role where I focused more on helping different companies, some of them from the Fortune 500 to improve their software development and delivery using DevOps and automation. I have developed and authored several frameworks, command line tools and guides. You can find them on GitHub and Azure DevOps Marketplace. I have presented many sessions in several user group, conferences, events and customer sites as well in different countries. So I got the chance and the opportunity to work in different culture, project size, and company size as well, which helped me to have different experience. I like to share my experience. This is why I have a YouTube channel and blog where they have hundreds of videos and posts that share different topics from my real experience. Here are some links for my activities. So Azure Kubernetes Service or AKS Deep Dive. So this course is divided into five modules. And in each module, it's divided into lessons and demos. So we have 37 lessons, and in total, we have 33 demos. So the total videos for all the course is 70 videos, include all the lesson and demos. So the module of the course. So we have five modules, as we explained before. The first module is introduction to application modernization and containers and module two understanding and working with docker module three working with containerized application in azure module four networking scaling helm and advanced deployment in aks and module five kubernetes security governance monitoring and logging so in module one Introduction to Application Modernization and Containers, we have several lessons. The first lesson is Introduction and Course Overview, which is the current lesson I'm explaining to you now that will explain everything you need to know about the course, the scope, the module, the lesson, and so on. In the second lesson, Understanding Application Modernization. In this lesson, we will understand what we mean by modernizing application and what is the steps and the process to modernize application and why this is important. Then, lesson three, Container VS Virtual Machine. In this lesson, we will cover an introduction about containers VS Virtual Machine and why we might need to work with containers over the virtual machine. Lesson four, introduction to Kubernetes and containers orchestrations. In this lesson, we will get an overview about Kubernetes and the understanding why we may need to work with container orchestration. In module two, understanding and working with Docker, it has several lessons as well. 
So the first lesson, introduction and module overview, which is again, give a quick introduction about this module and what is expected to see and learn in details for this module. Lesson two, getting started with Docker. In this lesson, we will get an overview and introduction about Docker. Then lesson three, working with Docker containers. In this lesson, we will get more info about how to work with Docker using several commands. Then we will have the first demo in lesson three, which is working with Docker container over a Linux machine. And then the second demo in this lesson, which is working with Docker container on a Windows machine. So we can see the difference between the Linux and the Windows machine. And the third demo, which is doing several action and command using Docker commands. Then lesson four, understanding Docker file and image layers. In this lesson, we will focus more on how the Docker file is working and how this translated into layers. Then the first demo in this lesson will be working with Docker file so we can see how we can execute the Docker file command and build our image. Then the second demo, which will be executing Docker container and the image workflow. We will explain in this lesson how the Docker workflow is working. And in this demo, we will focus about to map this workflow into an interactive commands. Then lesson five, working with Docker volumes. In this lesson, we will focus about how Docker can interact with volumes. Then we will get a demo about working with volumes with Docker. Then lesson six, understanding networking in Docker. This lesson will focus on the networking in Docker, followed by a demo on how to work with networking inside a Docker container. Then lesson seven, which is Docker Compose. We will understanding what is a Docker Compose, how to work with Docker Compose and why we need it, followed by a demo that explaining working with Docker Compose. Then lesson eight, understanding multi-stage build. So we will focus about understanding the reason behind using multi-stage build. And again, followed by a demo about how to work with multi-stage build. And then lesson nine, how to build and run unit testing inside Docker container. And again, followed by a demo, how to run a unit testing inside a Docker container. And then module three, working with containerized application in Azure. This module also has several lessons. The first lesson, as we might expect it, is an introduction about this module to understand in details what you expect to learn and see in each lesson in this module. And then the second lesson, Azure Container Registry. We will get an overview about Azure Container Registry, how to provision and how to work with Azure Container Registry. And of course, followed by a demo about working with Azure Container Registry using several commands. And then lesson three, Kubernetes architecture and the components. This will be the first details lesson that explaining the Kubernetes architecture, either it's AKS or non-AKS, but this will be focus more on the details of the architecture of Kubernetes and how this related to AKS. Then lesson four, Kubernetes resources and the objects. In this lesson, we will get more details about the structure of Kubernetes and what are the different components that construct the Kubernetes with more details. Lesson five, interacting with Kubernetes, cubic till and dashboard. In this lesson, we will understand how we can interact with Kubernetes API using the cubic till command line tool or even using the dashboard from the web and the UI. And of course, we will have a demo that using a cubic till as a command line to interact with Kubernetes using several commands and also a demo working with Kubernetes dashboards and doing several interaction using the dashboard. And the third demo will be working with Kubernetes Memphis to file multi-container bot. Lesson six, managing and upgrading AKS cluster. In this lesson, we will focus on understanding what and how to upgrade AKS cluster. And of course, followed by a demo when doing the upgrade for AKS cluster. Lesson seven, containerization security in Azure. This lesson will focus about security for AKS in Azure as a fundamental security. We will get more information in security in the last module. Then lesson eight, introduction to OAM and Dapper. We will get an overview about OAM and Dapper in more details. Then module four, networking, scaling, Helm and advanced deployment in AKS. This module also has several lessons. The first as usual is the introduction and module overview. 
And then the next lesson is basic networking in AKS. So we will get an introduction about how to use basic networking in AKS, followed by a demo how to work with basic networking in AKS. And then lesson three, advanced network in AKS, which covers the advanced level of networking inside the AKS. And of course, followed by a demo working with advanced networking in AKS and how to use Azure Container Network Interface or CNI in AKS. And then the second demo in this lesson is configuring network for AKS using Kubenet. Then lesson four, understanding scaling application in AKS. This lesson will focus on the scaling in AKS, either for the auto scaling or the manual scaling, and of course, followed by a demo about scaling application in AKS. Then lesson five, configuration application in AKS for high availability. So we will understand how to achieve high availability in AKS and as we usual, followed by a demo that explaining how to implement high availability for AKS. Then another demo for backup and restore AKS, and then a demo that deploy application across availability zones. Then the last demo for this lesson, which is multi-region AKS cluster. Then lesson six, configuring data volumes in AKS using Azure Disks. In module two, we understand how to use the volume in Docker, but this lesson will focus on using the volume inside AKS or within an AKS using the Azure Disks. And of course, followed by a demo that explaining how to create volumes and work with Azure Disk in AKS. Then lesson seven, how to deploy and provision AKS with Terraform. This will explaining infrastructure as code using Terraform and how we can provision AKS using Terraform. And then a demo that explaining the provision of AKS using the Terraform. Lesson eight, how to deploy application to AKS using CICD with Azure Pipeline. This will explain in details as an end-to-end -end how to build and deploy application to AKS or Azure Kubernetes services using Azure Pipeline. And of course, followed by a demo that explaining all the process and how to configure that. Lesson nine, using Helm for release management in AKS, which will explain what is the Helm, how we use it, why we use it, and of course, followed by a demo that explaining Helm release management for AKS. And lesson 10, advanced topics for managing AKS. This will cover several advanced topics for AKS that you need to understand and be aware of them. Module five, Kubernetes security, governance, monitoring, and logging. This module also has several lessons. So the first lesson as usual is introduction and module overview. The second lesson is securing data running on AKS. In previous module, we get an introduction about security in AKS. But in this lesson, we will start getting more deep details about security for AKS. And then we will get for the first demo in this lesson, which using service principle and manage identity in AKS. And then the second demo is how to secure networking traffic and cluster configuration file. And lesson three, integrating Azure Active Directory with AKS and manage accessing using RPAC or role-based access control. In this lesson, we will focus about the integration between Azure Active Directory and how we can integrate the role-based access control with AKS. And of course, followed by a demo integrating Azure Active Directory with AKS. Lesson four, integrating AKS with Azure Security Center. This will explaining how we can integrate Azure Security Center with AKS and why this is important. And then lesson five, introduction to monitoring and logging for containerized application. Then lesson six, monitoring and logging containerized application using application insight, log analytics, Azure Monitor. And then we will get a demo about monitoring containers using Azure Monitor. And then lesson seven, getting started with monitor AKS with continuous optimization cloud or CCO dashboard. And then get a demo about monitoring AKS using CCO dashboard. And the second demo in this lesson, monitoring using Azure Monitor and Grivana. So how this course is organized? It's very important to understand how this course is organized so you can navigate between modules, lessons, and demos. So first of all, as we explain, this course is divided into five modules. Each module has several lessons, demos that cover its topic. Each lesson or demo will be presented in a separate video. The first lesson in each module will describe in details the outline 
and an introduction of the current module includes all lessons and demos and what you expect to see and learn in that module. There is a mapping slide in each video which shows where this video is located inside the course. It is recommended to respect the order for all modules, lessons and demos as well as pay attention to the course module overview and introduction because this is the way that you can understand what is the content of the module or the lesson. Video cover and video title. So any video of the course has a video cover which is similar to the current picture and this will be the title of the course and the second one will be the title of the module and the third will be the lesson or the demo title. This is the actual content of the video. This also to show the mapping or where this video is located inside the course. Also for the video title on the YouTube, the first part which is the lesson or demo title and the second part is the course abbreviation and location in the course. Module and mapping slide. So each video will remind you which module the current video is located so you don't get confused about that. Also, you will have at the beginning of each video a mapping slide that will help you to understand where this video is located inside the module and inside the course. Reference and resources. This course developed and designed using several reference. Microsoft Learn, Microsoft Ignite the Tour, and Microsoft Docs. And you can find more information on the following links. Also for extra resources, you can visit my blog if you want more information, visit the YouTube channel where you can find more videos or get updated and make sure to subscribe so you can get all the updated videos as well. At the end, I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any question or inquiry, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.